My, 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 what a wacky Wednesday, huh? I was just sitting around eating some curry chicken, playing super glitchy Madden, and all of a sudden my phone starts going crazy. And I'm like, uh-oh, what did my team do? But it wasn't about my Ravens. It was about a team that my Ravens are getting ready to play in a little less than a month down here in Miami with your game. I need to buy my tickets because now the prices are about to go through the roof if this thing goes through. But it was letting me know that the Dolphins, who have been rumored for a while now, to be a team that could end up adding Deshaun Watson since he wanted to be traded. It says that they were working on a trade to acquire him. Now, I really wonder what the compensation would be. If this thing goes through, if this thing goes down, and it seems like it will, because again, it's been talked about for a long time now, but I wonder what the compensation would be for the Dolphins to acquire Deshaun Watson. Because... It's, it's tricky because you, you gotta, you're taking on a contract, you're taking on a great player, uh, but you're also taking on, uh, you, you, you must be comfortable with the legal situation for whatever happens with that, because that's still, right now, it's, it's up in the air. But here, we're going to focus on just the player, just the game of football. And with the Dolphins, if they add a, Desh if they add a Deshaun Watson... To that team, and and they can get Deshaun Watson, the, the Deshaun Watson that we all know, that can ball, that he can play. If they can get that, oof, oof, because it's it's like it's, it's crazy because obviously they just drafted Tua last year, and there have been so many rumors about the way that the Dolphins felt about Tua, and I mean even last year you saw once he finally got his shot. The Dolphins, Brian Flores and them, they were still flip-floppy with him. Because he would be in, then he would be benched, then he would be in, then he would be benched. It would be Fitzpatrick, then Tua. Fitzpatrick, then Tua. And it was like, uh, okay. So then this year, you heard all these rumors. Oh, the Dolphins, they ain't feeling Tua. They might move on from Tua. They might be looking at another quarterback besides Tua. And it was like, man, he just got here. He just got to Miami. Like, give this man a shot. And then, then last year, it wasn't no offseason last year. So that made it even harder for quarterbacks. Um, but th this is his first real chance. And then I, I never forget the day where they said two or through like four or five interceptions in practice. And all these people, oh, he sucks. He's this, he's that. And it's like, it's practice. It's better for him to get it out of his system now than in the regular season. But it's just, it's, it's just, it was just a weird sort of vibe between the Dolphins and Tua. At least that's what it looked like from the outside looking in. Um, but now with this, I wonder if Tua, if this does go through, I wonder if Tua would be part of the package too. Because what are you going to, you going to hold on to both Deshaun Watson and Tua? See, that's something to think about too though. Is if, if they, if they could, I know Texans probably wouldn't want to do it because they probably just ready to move on. But if they could come to an agreement, that would be contingent based off of whatever happens with the legal stuff. So they could be like, all right, we'll give you, and this is just throwing it out there. I do not think this is what it's going to be. But we'll, Dolphins will give the Texans a first-round draft pick contingent on if the legal, none of the legal stuff happens or goes down this year. No, no actions go down this year. Um, so we'll just see. Now, it would be bringing Deshaun Watson, hooking him back up with uh, Will Fuller. And, but I believe Will Fuller is on injury reserve right now. But he should be back in, I want to say, a week or two. Well, he'll be eligible in a week or two. Um, but this would bring them back together. And this would make the Dolphins, again, that much better. That much better. Because Tua, I mean, Deshaun Watson, it ain't nothing against Tua. But Deshaun Watson is definitely uh, much better than Tua. But, again, Tua, he's just inexperienced. That's it. He's inexperienced. He's not bad. He's just inexperienced. But you get somebody like Deshaun Watson. Ooh, boy. And you would get a motiva extra motivated Deshaun Watson. Extra. You, you think he's going to be like, oh, man, why are all these cameras in my face, man? What y'all always record me for? You think he's going to be doing that in Miami? No. Not at all. He's going to say, bring them cameras. If he get traded from Texas to Miami, man, that dude would have the biggest cheese on his face. But if this go, hey, we just got to wait it out now. The trade deadline is approaching. We got about, about two weeks, two weeks left. So if they're going to deal him, if the Dolphins are going to get him, it, it needs to be like very, very soon. So, oof.
Hmm, that's going to be something. If, if all these rumors, because the rumors were between the Dolphins and the Eagles. Some people say, oh, Dolphins are interested in them. Some people say, oh, Eagles are interested in them too. Then, then it came out that the Eagles were like, mm, no, we're good. We're straight. We're fine. Uh, but the Dolphins were like, oh, we're not. Because Tua got hurt. He was out for a little bit, but then he came back. Um, but then, uh, and they, they were de de dealing with Jacoby Brissett for a little while. But we know that Jacoby Brissett for the Dolphins, he was not the quarterback of their future. He was just a backup, and he was just a, a simple, not even a Band-Aid, because Tua was supposed to be the quarterback of the future, but what did, didn't they draft him at, like, number six overall? Something, something high like that. So, And if you really just, you really feel like Tua's not the guy, like, boom, like that. I, hey, for some teams, it take them a short amount of time to really figure out if somebody's a guy or not. And I guess the Dolphins right now, they're like, mm, yeah, Tua, you ain't it for us. But, yeah, I, I, do, really, I do really question whether it's going to be if Tua would be included in a trade to the Texans, that would be something right there. Or if the Dolphins hold on to him. I just, I don't know, man. I just don't really see a scenario where they hold on to him. I'm sure they could, but I just, ooh, that would be really awkward, right? That would be super awkward. Hey, Tua, this quarterback who, uh, you, we, we drafted you last year and we had you flip-flopping with Fitzpatrick. And now, this year, uh, we, we're bringing in Deshaun Watson. So, you know, if we trade him for Deshaun Watson, then, yeah, you're not part of our plans anymore. So, you, if, he, if he stayed, then, all right, all right, Tua, you, you're going to be, you're going to ride the bench. What, what, like, man. You, so, you know, he's, he will be gone within the next year because he's either going to be going this year he's going to be going this coming off season because if they get Deshaun Watson they ain't keeping Tua around but where is he gonna who's, who's gonna trade for Tua that's a whole nother thing but Dolphin hey that's why Dolphins got their GM and he's handling business and I'm not a GM I could do it in Madden now I could wheel and deal in Madden like I'm trying to do but it keeps glitching so you know what let me go and get, and get up out of here because I actually deleted Madden and I'm reinstalling it to see if that helps I know most of y'all probably gonna say probably not but we'll see anyway well, if this goes down officially, you'll hear from me. But I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And we'll see what happens. Like Deshaun Watson could be very, very soon when it comes to the Houston Texans. I'm out.